Hello children, I'm Abby and today I'll be showing you how to do the Pythagorean Theorem. So, basically what the Pythagorean Theorem is, is that uh, the sum of all the squares of the lengths of both legs is the same as the square of the length of the hypotenuse. You, might, you may have not understood this, but uh, we will break this down. Note, uh, the, the Pythagorean Theorem is only... Is only um, uh, usable for right triangles and will not be able to use for any other types of triangles such as an isosceles, equilateral, or scalene triangle. So we can start by giving our example triangle um, some measurements. So we could give this A is equal to 5, B is equal to 12, and our unknown, which is C, also known as the hypotenuse. Uh, on another note, the hypotenuse is always the longest side on the triangle and must always labeled uh, must always be labeled as C. So you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle if you know the lengths of the triangle's other two sides, which we do. Or put in another way, if you know the lengths of of A and B, you can find C. So uh, in this triangle, um, uh, we can as we know the two measurements of the legs we can find the pi th the we can find the measurements for c so to do so we have to first um write down the formula the formula for pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared so for any algebra equation what you would do first is substitute um the variables so a was 5 so 5 squared plus b which was 12 so 12 squared which is equal to c squared so now we can we can square the 5 and the 12 giving us 25 and 144 which all equals to c squared now we can of course add the 25 and 144 giving us 169 equaling to c squared now as as you know to um to to solve for any variable we have to isolate it to what's connected to it so in this case um the the variable is being squared so to get rid of the the square we have to do its opposite which is the square root so we would square root uh the c getting rid of the 2 and of course for any algebra equation what we do to one side we have to do to the other so you would square root the 169 giving us 13 which is equal to C. So now, now we know what what C is equal to. C is equal to thirteen. B is equal to twelve, and A is equal to five. Now that we know this, what we can do is we can go back and check to make sure our answer is perfect. So. To do so, we'll have to write the formula again. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, and we can we can uh, substitute all of the variables in for its value. So a was five, b is twelve, and of course c is thirteen. So uh, again, we can go we can go back and we can uh, square each and every one of our numbers, being twenty five plus one forty four equaling to one sixty nine. Now we can go add the twenty five and the one forty four, giving us one sixty nine is equal to one sixty nine. And we know this is correct because in any algebra equation, when both sides are equal and have the same number, it's it's the correct answer. So that's how you do the Pythagorean theorem and find the length of C if you know A and B. So thanks for tuning in again.